Hey, we're the Aces, and you're listening to 89 FM, the Radio Rock. Who are you French? In France right now? Yeah, yeah. I'm in France right now. We're in Paris. Did you guys already do the show? No, we're we're actually doing the show tonight. And what are you guys thinking about France? How is the expectation for the show? It's great. Yeah, we're really excited. I think our Parisian fans are pretty passionate and and uh we haven't seen them in a long time. So we're excited. Also, you guys released the new album in Friday, um, June 2nd. And I want to know how was producing this album? It was amazing. I mean, we tried different things that we never had before. And we worked solely with one producer. His name is Keith Farron. And we made it over the course of like a year and a half. So there was a lot of experimenting. And we were able to travel to a few different places for inspiration. And I think the main thing about the way we produced this record is we really wanted to go back to how we sounded as kids because if you don't know about our band you know we started our band when we were childhood friends when we were 10 years old and we started out just playing in a garage and it was like very like indie rock sounding and and just very gritty and and raw and so we wanted to bring a bit of that energy back to the record because this record thematically fo focuses a lot on our youth and so we were trying to reconnect with that sound through the making of the record and What do you guys think that changed the most from when you were 10 years old and to now? Oh my gosh. Maybe I don't even know. So much. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know if we could uh yeah. we could even like pick one thing. Yeah. I think um we are just like a lot more sure of ourselves. I think obviously, you know, from 10 years old to now it's like you that's like your entire growing up. So, I just feel like we have really like owned the parts of ourselves that maybe we were afraid to own before. And uh, we're just like really sure of who we are as a band at this point. And that feels really, really good. I feel like almost everything has changed except this band, like our relationship with each other. And that's kind of what I've loved you for so long is about like the song and kind of the whole theme of like this record too, is like this relationship and kind of the safe space that we built for each other is something that we have had since we were 10 years old. And that's something that hasn't really changed um, yeah. up until now. So mm -hmm. maybe one of the only things that's yeah. actually still consistent from 10 to 25. Oh, you guys were very young. And do you guys produce songs in the same way? I mean, composing. Do you guys compose in the same way? Or do things have changed also? I think it's changed. Yeah. It kind of like ebbs and flows. I think sometimes, you know, Elise and I will work on stuff together sometimes uh we'll all four work together this record was really cool because we um really worked together on it all four of us you know we like really brought it to life as a band i think everyone feels really connected to it for that reason um and yeah it, it, we kind of went back to the way that we used to write as kids which was just like in our in the basement together in a room um and we we did that on this record which was really really fun This album seems to be a lot of intimates for all of you. And I want to know what is your expectation on releasing this? Um, yeah. To be the biggest global pop stars in Brazil. <laughs> in Brazil. For sure. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we're like, um, we're, we talk about this uh, a lot together, just like how good it feels to be putting out a record that we don't really have expectations attached mm. to because we feel so proud of it. And whatever happens with it, we really trust that is what is supposed to happen with this record. And so I feel like we feel really peaceful about it. We feel really free and just like open to get to experience new things. More than anything, I think that the coolest thing so far about this record and what I hope to we hope to continue to do is get to go to places we've never been. Like we would love to come to Brazil and like just all over the world to go um, play shows where we never have. I think that that's a really big focus for this record as well. Mm -hmm. Why you guys didn't come to Brazil already? We were waiting for you. I know. I know. We, we, needed, wanted we wanted to come on our last record, but we couldn't travel with the uh, pandemic and stuff. And um, I don't know if you guys knew about us on our first record, so this might be the first chance. <laughs> we need you guys to blow us up as yeah. global pop stars in Brazil. Yeah. And then we'll come. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't understand the end. <laughs> I said, we need you guys to blow us up as global pop stars, and then we'll come to Brazil. This is easy. You guys are amazing. We have no problem doing this. Um, also, you guys made music for The Bold Type, Love, Victor, and Exo Kitty that just come out. How was the invite for this? Um, it it kind of just came through like our management and um, we have had so many people yeah. being like, 
I heard your song in XOKD and love Victor and everything. So it's it's really cool to yeah. get to hear your music. Uh, I feel like that's a big thing for us. Is like especially on this record, the music is really cinematic mm -hmm. and really nostalgic. And I think that it would be really really cool to continue to hear it um, alongside TV shows, movies, things like that. So mm -hmm. it's awesome. We're we're really excited about it. And the form of comp composing when you are doing for um, film music. I'm sorry, a film series, and when you are doing for your band is different we we actually those songs were songs that we created for our our records that they just liked and added we didn't make those mm. songs for the shows but yeah. we would love to do that one day we we think that could be a super fun project mm -hmm. yeah if you guys could choose a movie to do a soundtrack what would be I feel like we always say that we would do like a John Hughes film or honestly, I, I, Greta Gerwig would be amazing. amazing. Like something like Lady a Ladybird yeah. or like a Call Me By Your Name too. Like something, you know, just like indie and pretty and cool and gay coming of age. <laughs> we love films. So love you. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. And I want to know what, if you have rock inspirations when you're composing yeah. yeah, I mean, we, yeah, we grew up listening to a lot of rock bands. Our biggest inspiration as kids was Paramore. You know, mm -hmm. we wanted to be just like Paramore and we would watch their music videos on repeat. And I learned how to drum covering Paramore songs. Um, and yeah, you know, I think one of the first artists any of us listened to was the Beatles too. And, um, the classics, like Jimi Hendrix, um, Led Zeppelin. So yeah, I think that there's definitely rock is always, you know, as a band, rock is always, gonna be a big influence now i need you guys to be in a consensus. you can choose only one band of rock to do a collab can be a band that are together now or not but just one okay well, i think it would have to be paramore yeah. Yeah. yeah like if we if, if Haley would ever sing on an ace of song we'd mm -hmm. be eternally grateful yeah that'd be incredible that was easy i, I think you guys already knew that <laughs> <laughs> But I want to know what are the next steps for the band girls? Uh, we're just excited to put this record out. More, more than anything, we're excited to tour. We're yeah. excited to come play it live for all of our fans all over the world, specifically in Brazil. Um, we're trying to come perform this record for you guys. So, yeah, I think that's kind of the next step after it's out on Friday. Girls, it was a pleasure talking to you. I hope when you come to Brazil, you come to Rock Radio so we can meet up together and yeah. do this interview again. Yes. Uh, it was a pleasure. 89 A Rádio Rock